Hello everyone, it's Bram by the Ham and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition, episode 21. In the last episode, we came back here to the Hinterlands, but we are now exploring a western part of this area. Because one of the first quests that we got uh, when we traveled here was to get horses for the Inquisition. And we actually never got around to do that. And... Ooh, what's this? Text on Senna's shrine. Senna, beloved, may your ashes be gathered by Falon Din and carried safely after all long years you carried me. Hmm, okay. Holy crap, what? Oh, they're stealth. I, I do see them, he's right over here. Oh, what? Holy oh, crap. <laughs> My lord! That was insane. Oh. Uh oh. Uh. Alrighty. Party members have leveled up. Solus. You, buddy. Damage reduction, 50%. And willpower. Uh, that seems like a must. Because there are no healing abilities in this game, so we might as well decrease the damage taken. Is there a comparable thing for Cassandra? Now, I actually don't really like the charging bull ability. Let's go for trust to steal, extra armor and extra constitution. And actually, let's rearrange this for a bit. Uh, this can be there, over there. I don't know if grappling chain was the correct one to go for. Alrighty, that's Cassandra. Who has some more armor now. And Varric with his Bianca. Which I guess this can be a funny tree to do as well to get here eventually. But look at this damage bonus 800% when at full health. So this is uh, perfect. So we have this set. Uh, and that's Solus. Yeah, that's all done. Solus got the. Did we get you? Uh, damage reduction. Mana search. Mana restoration. Okay, now let's play with Varric for a bit more. Oh, what's that down there? Because it seems to me like he would be the perfect guy to initiate a fight now. Because enemies at full health take double damage. What is this? It's a landmark. Yeah. And some loot. Saga of Tirida Bright X, the Avar Mother. Ready? You can pause the video here and read it. Here we have some loot. No, actually, there are things coming at us. Where are they? There they are. It's a Mabari. Now, let's see what this does. Did it hit at all? Don't think so, really. Where's our barrier? Hey. 
That is some dead Mabari. So I guess it requires really good timing with uh, Varric to actually line up that perfect shot. Hey, is this Mana Surge? That's awesome. We actually have to go the complete other way. Because we want to go... Yeah. Alrighty. Well, let's see if along the way we may find that Astrarium puzzle. Maybe, just maybe. Oh crap! Where'd they come from? Um, and we both do barrier. Let's uh, let's not do that. There should be some sort of smart thing for that. So if we go into our behaviors on AI tactics, targeting behavior, follow, controlled character, defend, 30%, yeah that's alright, tactics, okay I guess we should do uh Let's do that enabled. And so this means that we either have to control a mage if we have two mages in our party to prevent them from using barrier at the same time. Now where is this Astrarium puzzle? It's right here. It was just a path leading from there. Awesome. Okay, let's try to do this Astrarium puzzle after picking up the loot. Oh. Growth, grouse feather charm. Uh, energy barrage. I didn't even know. Let, let's just destroy this. I'm gonna build a fire resistance and electricity resistance. I want an armor upgrade. That might actually be something that I'll do when. Oh, crap. When I go back to the war table, I spend a point on increased. Oh, shit. On increased. Um, what you call it? Inventory space. Okay, so we should connect the stars without making double lines, which shouldn't be that hard, I feel, unless I'm missing something. Uh, now I have to. Is this not good? Oh ha! Wait. I made a whole different star. Oops. Oh, you don't need all of them. Oh wait, is this this? Oh There is one more down here. Dang it. Thank you. 
There we go. <laughs> there was one in the bottom of the screen. Oh, oops. Finish. Constellation Draconis, called High Dragon. Constellation is always depicted by a dragon in flight. Recently, it's come into question whether this was the case in the ancient Imperium. Most of the winter dragon imagery was reserved for the old gods, so why they dedicated constellation to dragons in general when specific dragons were held in such reverence or reverence. Uh, this speculation is fueled by old drawings showing Draconis as more serpentine in appearance, perhaps depicting a sea creature or an unknown eighth old god. Ooh. Oh my god. An unknown eighth old god? Will this... Wow. Will this be something for maybe this game or maybe a later game? That you will have to fight the eighth old god? Awesome. Uh, jump down, take a potion. Yay! Oh. Dude. Huh. Okay, that was lame. Take the long way around then. Let's not engage with those wolves. Redcliffe Farms. Oh, are we coming? Getting close to Redcliffe. We need another artifact. Oh, are we? Well, let's find more shards at least. Let's have a look. There's one. There should be two, right? There's two, three, four. Oh, that fourth one is really easy to pick up. Oh, and five. Well, that's easy actually. Nice. But Solar stated that another artifact was nearby. That would be fancy if we could just jump in like that. Music's awesome. Fair, firm bow grip. Nice. Come on, get out the way. So the Radcliffe Farms. Oh my goodness. It's getting familiar again. Oh! Haha! -ha. We're actually here already. Um. This is the farm that has horses. Horses for the Inquisition. I suppose but this must be Master Dennett. I guess you're right. But first, before we forget, let's pick up the shards, at least this one. And. Oh my god. There's loot all over the place and question marks, and it's brilliant. Deft hands. Fine tools. Hmm. Alrighty. Keep that in mind for later. There was a shard down here on the road, right? There it is. So now I cannot forget anymore. Alrighty. Let's first go to the camp to establish that. How does one English? And then return here to Master Dennett. Because then we'll have six out of six caps in the hinterlands. Ooh, and we have a landmark and, and a fate rift. Crap, better crap. 
We have all the things. What's this? Read. A heartfelt request. Lost a prize winning Druffalo Druffy. Ran when demons attacked. Last seen down in the gully. Reward if found and returned to farms dead. Note posted on public board with a simple map showing the general location of the Druffalo and when to return her. Where to return her. Now let's see. House. House with book. Yeah. The Winter Imperium. You can pause the video here and read it. Oh. Yet another book. Oh, a mosaic piece. Yeah. So I guess you have one for each area. An educated guess. Whee. And here we have our camp. Brilliant. Near Red Clear. Alrighty, we have influence. And an exclamation mark. And what are these things then? Rifts in the farm. Oh my lord. Well, we might as well pick up the exclamation mark, close some rifts, and then go to Master Dennett, right? We still have time in this episode. A letter in an empty, empty home. Endrin, they're telling everyone to leave until the mages and Templars stop burning everything down. I saw the way the merchants were looking though. If we just flee, they'll pick our houses clean. I'm taking our little project to the cave in the hills up north. Hmm. You know, the one. It'll be safe there until all the blows are low. Blows are over. From Hassel. And then there is a fade rift. I guess it's more stable for the environment if we get rid of those rifts immediately. They're spawning demons already. Where are they? Yoo -hoo. Oh, there they are. Oh! Can I attack it from a distance? I wonder what going up here. Is. So they were kind of strong. Okay. Well. Let's maybe not do that then. Let's travel to this camp. Nothing to report, sir. Let's then go to Death Rift. Maybe that's not level 12 enemies. Although the first Despair Demon got taken out quite efficiently, but I think I'm too focused with my Inquisitor on actually closing the rift, so... Don't really know how to deal with that... yet. Let's see... Level 7 Wraiths, that should be good. Oh my god... This guy... Has to get away.
Yeah. Pay drifts are definitely not my thing. Not my cup of tea. Poison whip ring. So that is done. But oh my god, a level 12 fate rift. Lord, oh lord. Let's finally go to Dennett now. Let's get ourselves some horses. There might be something here. Better take a closer look. Oh. In his house. Isn't it just the man himself? So you're the Inquisition, eh? Here you're trying to bring order back. It's high time someone did. Never thought it'd be a mage, though. Redcliffe's had enough trouble with magic already. Name's Dennett. I served Arl Eamon for 30 years as Horsemaster. I hear your Inquisition is looking for mounts. That is right. It is. Can you help us? Not at the moment. I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. <laughs> You'll have mounds once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. You got a problem with me? If you have a problem with me personally, I'd like to know about it. What? Because of what I said about mages? All the trouble magic's causing around here? Might well take a mage to fix it. That's all I meant. My wife Elena manages the farms and Bron's in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. Until then, you deserve something better than whatever knock-kneed plow neck they gave you. The chestnut over there is a purebred Ferelden Forder. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you, Inquisition. New operations available. And I steal your booze, mate. No, 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 no. Already? Let's see. Let's pick up this uh, exclamation mark thingy first. Whatever that is. Fancy trying out one of my courses? Uh, okay, we can actually race. What kind of racing are you talking about? I set up a course over there with stakes in the ground. It's too narrow to race directly, so I time it with a sand glass. You try to ride the course before I call time. I'll give it a go. I'll try one of your courses. Wonderful. Get your horse and I'll set up the stakes. You make time. I'll throw in some of the dress money father gave me. Oh, is this our horse? Shift to gallop. Uh, I don't know, doesn't seem too impressive. Yo, what up? Nicely done. Fancy another race? No. I'll speak with you later. I don't get any money. Alrighty, now let's talk to this guy, Braun. The master doesn't want me handing those refugees weapons until they've got any hope of defending themselves. <gasps> if you put up a few watchtowers, we'd all have more warning before the next attack. Okay, uh, so we have to set up watchtowers. One thing, look at these, these swords. It's the design from Starfang. The special sword from Dragon Age Awakening. Awesome. You said you had a way to help the refugees. I do. 
There are too many hills in these parts. Good places for raiders and bandits to gather. I've marked good spots on the map. You set up watchtowers there. I'll talk to the master and get your people weapons. All right. Farewell. So I guess that's for the next episode then. Let's see, locations are marked. What is that for then? Shards, shards, more Astrarium. In the saddle, trouble with woods. Farmland security, oh, okay. Farmland security, farmland security. So there's the three things. And now we have to get to Denet's wife. And let's make that the end of this episode. Where is she? Hello. I heard what my man said. If you want our horses, then we need our farmers back safe in their fields. Okay. Since the breach appeared, the wolves have gone mad. They come after our men like beasts with the water sickness. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. So what about these wolves? How are these wolves acting differently from normal? Normal wolves go after livestock, but come at them with a torch and a blade and they run. These beasts, though, it, it's like dark spawn during the blight, or when the dead rose to attack us. They're possessed, or something like it. I've lost too many men to the beasts. I won't endanger more. Okay. Farewell. Good day to you. Good day to you. Well, on this lovely fence while floating in the air, let's cut off this episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode where we, let's see, we set up the final camp, I believe, in the hinterlands. Area is coming together quite nicely at the moment. Forest camp, where's that then? Oh wait, that was that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but we still have some Phaedrus and oh look at that. From a fortress to the west. Never mind, we are not done yet at all. Uh, and this fate rift. Oh my god, this one was so hard. And we have to make watchtowers and find ruffalos. And oh my god, we are back in the hinterlands. And I love it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for the next episode to be uploaded soon. Thanks for watching, guys.